All right, I'm gonna be doing a compression test here on this uh, V6 engine, and I got my tester and my hose that I'm gonna screw into the uh, spark plug holes and turn the engine over and see what my reading is. I've already taken out all the spark plugs and disconnected my coil plug in and disconnected my engine fuel rail plug in. So I'm ready to put this in to one of my empty cylinders and turn it over. Alright, I got my tester plugged in. My hose screwed in, my tester plugged into the hose. So I'm going to turn the engine um, for about five or six seconds and see what my reading is. Alright, so this one's about probably around 170. Alright, I got my compression tester in the uh, second spark plug hole and I'm going to turn it over for five or so seconds. See if I can't see what that one's reading. That's about what the other one said, about 170. That's a little, little bit under 170. Between uh, 160 and 165. And then I'll just release this pressure. And then disconnect this here. And then unscrew that and put that in my other one. And read that cylinder. Right, here's my third cylinder. Uh, I'm going to go turn it over and see what that one's reading. All right, that one's reading 170. Alright. Release this. And disconnect. Do it all over again. First, uh, alright, this is my first uh, uh, test on this side. I'm going to turn it over and see what happens. Alright, let's see what this one's reading. 170. Or 165. Alright. Let's do another one. Alright, that's my second <coughs> test here. My second cylinder on this side. So let's turn it over and see what that reads. Sixty on that one. All right. Good. All right. Here's my last cylinder here to test. So let's uh, read that and see what it says. About 165, between 160 and 165. Alright, let's check the book and see uh, what my numbers are supposed to be. 
All right, I retested uh, the couple that I wrote down as uh, being 160, and I had uh, my first one was 170, my second one was 160, and I retested it and got 165. Then my third one was 170, then my fourth one was 165, and then my fifth one was 160 and I retested it and got 165 and then my sixth one was 160 160 and a half and my fifth one was 160 and a half also almost between 160 and 165 on the last two so my book didn't give me the compression range it just gave me some other testing to determine the uh, head gasket valves or piston rings. So it was telling me to squirt a little oil on the cylinder and retest it and see how the the gauge, how quick it pressurized and see if it went higher or lower. So I'm not going to do that right now. I got enough information right here to uh, just go on. So I'll just do that testing later. Alright, I just got back from uh, driving it, so the engine's uh, uh, hot, or cooling off, and I found a couple of things when I disconnected the spark plug wires from the spark plugs that this tip goes inside the uh, spark plug boot that one end goes on to the tip of the uh, spark plug. Uh, broke off and another thing that I seen was this boot was torn see so it's missing about an inch or so of boot so that could be uh, a problem so but since I got all the spark plugs out and it's warmed up the engine's warm I want to redo the test and see what uh, these results are because my first test was uh, engine cold so I want to see what this test uh, reads alright I got my first uh, um, cylinder test let me go crank it up and see what my first test reads like it says oh shit forgot to unplug my fuel line damn alright I disconnected my coil and my fuel connector so let's test this again and see what it says Seventy. All right, my second cylinder. Let's see what it's reading. 170. Alright, that's good. Alright, my third cylinder. Seventy-five on that one. All 
That's my fourth uh, cylinder. I'm getting 170, 170 on that one. Alright, my fifth cylinder. Alright, and that's reading uh, 165. Alright, here's my uh, sixth one, my final one. Let's see what that one says. Alright, this one says 170. So I'm going to get some new spark plug wires and uh, see if that fixes it. And if it don't, I'm going to do a, uh, a fuel pressure test and go from there.